Hi everyone, my name is Charlene Habermeyer and this is Tidbits for, of Wisdom for Parents. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about the impact music has on the baby in utero and even young children. Yesterday I talked about the impact of uh, reading to your child in utero. Today I'm going to talk about the impact of playing music for your child in utero and beyond. Um, what you can do is play classical music for your children each and every day while you are pregnant with them, while they are in utero. Play classical music and again, if you go into my resource section on Good Parenting Brighter Children, there's tons of different music CDs and different uh, pieces of classical music that I suggest. There was an interesting study that was done. A lot of times people say, well, will the baby be able to hear <clears throat> uh, things that are, sounds that are coming from the outside? Yes, in fact, a study was done in 1925, and they found that babies, the baby in utero, can hear sounds at five weeks. They later did studies and showed that by the 24th week, the baby's hearing sounds all the time in utero. So it is a good thing to read to them every day and to expose them to classical music. There was an interesting study that was done by Dr. Donald Shetler at the Eastman School of Music. And what he did is he took mothers who already had children, one or two children, and now they were pregnant with their second or third child. And he had them take headphones and put those headphones on their stomachs and have them listen, the baby listened to classical music for approximately 10 minutes each day. Now they have since found that you don't need the headphones, that the baby can hear all those sounds, there is no need for the headphones, and the one detriment with headphones is you never know quite um, how to make certain that the sound is not too too loud or too soft. So they said just play music it, it, on your way to work in the morning or before you go to bed at night, play 10 minutes of music. Now what they found in the study is those children um, at the age of two, there was a huge difference that they found and that the difference was in language development and in how they talked. They were early talkers, they were also early readers, but in terms of language, their language was more sophisticated, it was more articulate, it was much uh, stronger and better than, and they talked at, in sentences earlier, than their other siblings who had not been exposed to classical music each day in utero. So they know that it plays a huge impact if you start in utero. Rene Vandekar is a researcher and he said that uh, a child in the prenatal stages is like at a university because you can play music for them, you can read books to them, you can expose them to different experiences just as long as you're talking to them and telling them the experience that they are experiencing at that particular time. So all of those things are important. Then when they get to be a little bit older, you want to get them involved in a music program. There are music international and national uh, music programs that are available at 18 months. Kinder music is a very popular one. Let's Play Music is another popular one that you can start both of those programs at 18 months. Later on, there's the Yamaha, Yamaha program, there's the Suzuki program, there's the Kodai program. All of these amazing music programs and what they're doing is they're helping to build a bigger, better brain. Your child will do better in school. They will be early talkers, early readers, better language skills, and all of those things will make them a better student and a more successful adult. <clears throat> I want to share with you um, a quote, and this quote is by Tom Chapin, who is a children's music recorder. I don't entirely agree with everything he said here, but let's break it down. He said, singing to your kids is just as important as reading to them. I agree with that. Even books don't give the same kind of quality one-on-one -on -one interaction as singing because words only convey meaning, whereas music conveys emotion. Okay, I also believe that books can convey emotion as well. But there was a great uh, Japanese mathematician, and he was asked by a number of mothers, what is the number one thing that I can do for my child that will help them with math? And he said, sing to them, and sing to them every day. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.